Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are we are just going to show you a short trick about how you can use um shortcut options such as arrows, such as um um eclipse, such as highlights, such as other things that you want to use whilst recording your screen, and it wouldn't be you have to go and then edit and don't add those shortcuts to it. And this is done using Camtasia. All right, so the first step is you should start recording your screen. That is when you open it, you click on record options from here. And this is the interface that it will give you here. This shortcut over here, I've started recording already. So it's recording and you see there's nothing here that shows any other option apart from what you see here. All right, so before you can activate it, you look through this list of many here and you click on tools and you go down and choose recording toolbars. So you click on it and you have these five shortcuts or five options over here. You have the audio because I'm recording it using the audio. I'm not recording using the camera or there's no video, nothing here. And I have just disabled the statistics. That one gives you the time, the date, and what is happening and here this is what i'm talking about the effect so you click to select and then press ok and here you are this is what i'm talking about so um based on what you want to do if you are recording to be um, a tutorial to highlight to point to something to underline to circle to use an eclipse to use a triangle Camtasia enables you to use all these tools was recording and it hasn't or it doesn't have to be when you're done recording before you go and edit you know so in simple shots you can activate it before or during the recording please note you can activate this shortcut or this effect during and before the recording so with this over here nothing shows for me that i can use anything over here and for you to use the other effect you have to click on what screen draw to select and it gives you a list of options here. You get it. So you have pen, you have pen, you have maybe right and rectangle, you have rectangle. But as you go through them, you will see they are all the same. All right, we take the first one. So we click on the arrow down and you see we have um, under the two, we have pen. We have arrow, we have line, we have eclipse, you have frame, and then we have highlight. So you will taking them step by step, and this is it. So you, you click on what the pen to select, and it changes for you automatically. And if you come here, you see it just changed to a pen like no more a kesa, your normal kesa. All right, so if I want to say, um, if I want to say, how are you? Um, let's see how are you so let me make it short like that all right so there you go <laughs> how are you in short h a u how are you so that you have it you can just select it using the shortcut here um, click on this arrow and selecting the two and then choosing pen. Now let's try something with um with the shortcut to the arrow. So we are going to try something with it and this is how I want it to be like. So okay, let's press A on our keyboard or you can choose to select or you click a free area and we choose A. As you can see, automatically it has changed for us to the arrow, and there you have it. You get it, guys. So it's easy and simple like that. You, you understand? All right. So if you want to change the color, the color um, Camtasia has also make it simple for you to use colors with a shortcut, like um, W for white, um, K for black, and then what um green for jean so let's say i want to change the color of the distance to let's say white i just have to press on w and there it is so it is very 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 handy when recording so you don't have to be um going up and down 
before you edit so there you have it and let's go to the next tool which is what the line or you can prefer to press l on your keyboard to select so let me i want to underline this and there you are i feel to underline based on what i want to do so we go to the next option under the tools and we have eclipse so you're going to use f e f and then h for other shortcuts so i want to use e and it changes to the over shape for me so i want to just draw it on this and there i have it um let's go with the eclipse and that is the eclipse you have the f for the rectangle so it gives me the rectangle here for me and then let's say i want to highlight this one here and i'll choose h as you see the the shape of the cursor here keep changes so let's say i want to highlight this one and i want the color to be red automatically you can see it has changed for me please you understand all right so this is how simple you can just be pointing be drawing be doing other stopovers whilst recording your screen with camtasia all right let's go to the other option and you will notice that they all have the same menu they have pen arrow and that nothing more changes about the remaining effect you get it so the colors are the same um the width are the same and they are all the same so this is how easy and simple you can activate and use um screen effect whilst recording someone might ask can you do without letting this whole thing show yes you can do without letting it all show but for the sake of the recording i am doing i have to make sure um uh, i have to make sure that it's recording for you guys and that is it so you can you can you can do a whole lot with this arrow down here based on your preference and what you want to do so it's easy like that and we all can uh, at least learn something from it or do something about it. all right guys if you have any other options or if you want any shortcuts about how to use Camtasia and other options then please guys know that when um an effect or an option is selected you can't get the cursor anywhere unless you um you go and click back the screen um screen draw before you can get your your main cursor back so for example you are you are presenting and you have to just switch back to the options you just have to quickly go back for it to get your normal cursor so let me say this is hiding i want i want to use my options that is how simple and easy it can be so i just select it um highlight what i want to highlight and then i just have to go back and it just disappears or so i select it choose my arrow and um choose my option and then just go back and everywhere i click it select for me so guys that is how you can deactivate and activate and if you think you don't want people to be seeing what you're doing you can press f9 or function f9 to be pausing the video whilst you are recording and this is simple as that all right guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in another tutorial right bye